In this video, I'm going to run through the method of bow drill fire starting. Now this is ancient technology, uh, it's been used for thousands of years to start fires. Really, really efficient, one of the best methods you can do um, as long as you can create some cordage for a bow. Uh, it's much more efficient than a hand drill. There's four main components. Got your your half block. You can see I've already used the knife and started to create a couple of holes, but these need burning in, which we'll run through in a moment. And you've got the drill itself. One end, one end is left quite thick, um, and this is to create maximum friction. And this is going to be the end that is into the half block, and the other end almost pointed uh, like a pencil end and this is the end that's going to sit in the bearing block and this is the bearing block which you put the downward force on and hold the hand drill in place and this is the bow with a piece of paracord as the string and in any fire lighting situation you must be prepared and have your tinder bundle and some kindling ready for uh, that hopeful ember so I've got a tinder bundle here and a little bit of kindling not not gonna light a huge fire this is just a demonstration I went and collected the uh, wood last night and we've had a few days of rain so I'm not 100% hopeful that this is gonna work um, brilliantly but I'm gonna give it a damn good go and see if we can get fire so I'm gonna uh, make a start now next step is what you call burning in and you want to get your hand drill ready into one of the holes bit of saliva bit of saliva in the bearing block And apply some downward pressure and get the drill going. Normally the half board would be on the floor and keep it steady with your foot. You just want to do this until you get it smoking. Now it's been burnt in need to cut a v-notch so I'm going to do that now the notch is what will collect the uh, the ember there you go as you can see the charring to show that it's been burnt in and we've cut this notch this is where all the fine dust will collect uh, and the eventual heat caused the ember to sit in the in the notch here so let's give it a go. Here goes. Slowly down with pressure again. Here goes again. Here goes again.
that's it. Got an ember. Finally done it. Finally got. Finally got an ember. I'm gonna try and throw it into the middle of my bundle. Go. Success. That was a nightmare. That was about six goes in the end, but let's say we've had a lot of rain and it's not well they weren't the ideal woods really either, but just shows if you keep at it you can get success. So also it was a bit easier for me with it clamped up high to put the weight on. Uh, I think if I was doing it on the floor, it would have been uh, even harder. See, but in a survival situation when you've got plenty of time on your hands, there's no reason why you can't apply yourself and get a fire going. Um, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Get out in the woods and get some uh, get some wood and give it a go yourself. Cheers then.